Well, our backhoe is on its way, which is super exciting, and I've got a really big to-do list today, so I'm kind of just knocking out stuff that I can take care of in a few minutes, and one of those things is uh, sawhorses. We haven't built sawhorses since we got here. We built our first few with uh, just rip boards from the uh, decking that we made, and they've done really well. We've done a lot of work on them, but they're nowhere near enough, near sturdy enough. Uh, to do timber framing with and uh, what I need to do is get a couple of sawhorses built that I feel like other people can quickly mimic because I think we're gonna have to build I don't know 30 pairs I'm just guessing and uh, so anyway I cut I cut some uh, boards up on the Samba this morning sorry I kind of skipped that part my bad I uh, didn't think to grab the camera kind of just got in work mode uh, been at it since like six o'clock this morning got a bunch of oils changed stuff like that anyway so let's go ahead and make a couple of sawhorses and we'll see how they turn out Are you a construction kitty again today? Huh? Don't get to see you very much. Nope, don't get to see you too much. This set of sawhorse plans calls for two 21 inch pieces, two 33s, four 34s, and three 36s. Most of this sawhorse is only gonna be built once, and one of the reasons that we're building it the way we are is to be lightweight. Sawhorses need to be transportable so you can move them around. If you build something that's too big, you end up something that's too heavy and you can't move it, it's useless. So we're building this out of two by four material and um, we're gonna nail everything except for the top plate. We're gonna screw the top plate on because that usually gets boogered up and cut up as you use the sawhorse and we wanna be able to replace that down the road. So we're gonna nail the legs and all the cross bracing and then we're going to screw the top of the I-beam on. Look who came to help, and my job is to make sure huckleberries get eaten. Wow, that thing's beautiful. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna start a thing called sawhorse yoga. I wouldn't do that on our other sawhorses. No. Have you talked about that video? Oh, I didn't mention it. I mentioned we made some, but I forgot to tell them about the video. Yeah, watch that one. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Weren't they called like? <laughs> oh, they're called meh sawhorses. Meh. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. Two of these though should hold. A couple thousand beam, wow. thousand pound beam, no problem. That's so. wild. And that was all built with just leftover scrap lumber. Using that was made with wood sawmill. from our sawmill. Wow, that's impressive. Took me under an hour to make the lumber, cut it, and make the sawhorse. That's a pretty good day. The only problem is I gotta make two of them. Yep. So I gotta go make more lumber. And our backhoe is gonna arrive yeah. almost any minute now. I mentioned earlier that our to-do list today is well, it's an average day, so it's only about a mile long. Yep. Huh. Breakfast on the go. I see that. It's kind of like a bucket Rito. It's like a fruit bucket Rito. We didn't really eat any last year. We turned them all into jam. Yeah. So, because they're not really ripe yet. I mean, these are ripe. We just had to work really hard for them. Yeah. And only go to about a million bushes. We're just going to eat them. And then maybe in a week when they're really, really ripe, we'll get a bunch and we'll can them and make ice cream out of them. But until then. Much away. Not gonna lie, I catch myself munching on them every time I walk by, but well, not today they're yet. They're starting to like wilt, so we yep. need to eat them. You pick them, you gotta eat them, folks.
Let go, please. Let go, please. Thank you. Thank you. You're a little rascal this morning. Well, that does it. Two sawhorses. Um, if you're thinking about following these instructions, the distance from the top of this um, brace down here to the top of the two x four, 22 inches. The inset here is an inch and a half. So I nailed one leg at an inch and a half, and then adjust the other leg to an inch and a half and nail it down. I set one nail here and I lined it up so that the corner of this two x four is at the corner of the cross brace. Then came across and adjusted the leg until the corner lines up here, put in one nail, and then finished nailing it off. So that all worked pretty good. The total number of boards here was four 16 foot two by fours. Um, I just had some 16 foot stuff laying around and I actually had one eight footer left over when I'm all done. I did my math. Um, I'll throw this out there if it's helpful. I don't know if you can see this or not. You're going to need four 36s, excuse me, three 36s, four 34s, two 33s, and two 21s. Out of one board, I cut three 36s, one 34, one 33, and 121. And then out of the other board, I cut 134, excuse me, three 34s, 133, and 121. Out of the one set of boards, two boards, you're going to have enough left over to finish the second set of sawhorses if you follow those numbers. That's what I had anyway. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, I did screw the tops down so that when we cut those all up, we can remove those tops and add new ones. I probably will take some of those screws out. We'll have to see how strong it is. I, you don't want screws in the top of your sawhorses because that just <laughs> that just messes up your blades. Total time to build these two sawhorses, minus all the interruptions, including running the sawmill, uh, about two hours, honestly. It took me a couple hours to build those. Once you've got the wood, you know, probably an hour to build both sawhorses. Of course, the first one took a little longer. Second one, quite a bit faster. Because these are actually made from green lumber, they're actually pretty heavy. So hopefully as they sit out here in the sun and dry out a bit, they'll get a little bit lighter. But the reason we needed to start building sawhorses is for our timber frame home, which we're working on this year. And I needed to get a really simple design that other people can mimic because we're probably going to end up busting out somewhere around 30 pairs of these. Maybe that's too many. I don't know. Uh, 30 sawhorses total. I don't know. Something like that. There's no reason you couldn't do this build without with screws. Uh, until we got this nail gun recently in a fantastic estate sale. We'll link to that video. Gosh, I can never. I think it's over there. We'll link to that video. And uh, anyways, until we got to the nail, we got the nail gun. We used screws because it was just a lot easier. But with the nail gun, you can go really, really quick. Um, in the meantime, our backhoe did show up. So now I've got to go deal with that and we've got a million other things on the to-do list today So thanks for joining us for those who are curious the total height on these sawhorses is 34 inches That might actually be just a wee bit tall because we're gonna be putting some pretty big beams on here That'll be maybe around 10 inches. So they're clear up here and um, When you're trying to do joinery and hog out a mortise, that's pretty high So we may end up building some shorter sawhorses, which we'll use for the bigger beams